Hello, I decided to um, talk to, to you tonight about a uh, observation I made when I was a kid. I'm sending this information to the American Meteor Society. And uh, this took place in Chatham, New Jersey at 77 Myersville Road. I'm 63 now. Might have been, it's hard to say, 8, 10 years old, I don't know, maybe 12 at, at most, but somewhere in that region. And what it was, my father, James M. DuPont, and my brother, um, James Richard DuPont, and I were burning out uh, a stump at night. It was a, an apple tree, as I recall. And we're sitting there, uh, watching the glow of the um, stump, and suddenly we saw this roundish object overhead, and um, I would say it looked about the size of a pea at maybe, I don't know, 12, 14, 16, 18 inches away, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say, but it was, it was big enough that, so that you could actually see it tumbling, you could see marks on it, you could see that the shape was relatively round, and that there were irregular things on the surface, and it was tumbling maybe one revolution a second, it probably, uh, well, it went from a, a dull red to a cherry red and then a dull red. In, in the course of a couple of seconds, it um, passed about 30 degrees of angle in the sky, I would say, between the first time we saw it as a dull red until it, it faded away. If I had to guess at this point, knowing that Mars, uh, Myersville Road went east and west, I think, pretty close to it, it probably came from the northeast and probably disappeared towards the southwest. That would make sense. Um, it was a, a very amazing thing, and, and when you realize that apparently these meteorites, you know, start burning up at um, this was I was just reading anywhere between 50 and 75 miles up. This definitely was not burning up. This was just touching the upper atmosphere. There were no nothing trailing. There was no sparks, no white lights. It wasn't like a shooting star. This thing uh, was just glancing over the um, top of the um, upper atmosphere. And to the point where it was just starting to warm up on the surface. It, um, like I said, it started at a dull red, went to a cherry red, and then ultimately went back to a dull red. And um, I tried looking up close encounters back then. I haven't um, found anything. I wish I could um, set the date better. I think it uh, might have been Hard to say. I have to reflect on that. I'm trying to think what kind of car my dad had at the time this uh, this took place. And um, well, all three of us saw it, and um, it uh, was very, very impressive. And you can imagine if that thing actually came in and actually slowed down and uh, dropped into. Um, our atmosphere. Obviously a lot, a lot of it would have burned up, but the crater, something of that size would have made, I think it would have been pretty remarkable. And so maybe uh, some of you physicists out there can kind of guesstimate how big this thing was that we saw based upon this, this observation. Um, it happened, it was totally real, nothing extraterrestrial about it other than the fact that it uh, 
it was just passing by, thank God. Um, and I don't recall anything written up about it in the um, newspaper. So maybe someone else can um, add to this. All right. Have a good one. Let's hope you don't get hit by something big. Bye-bye.